Welcome back to White Mountain Today here on White Mountain TV 16 at North Conway. And joining me in the studio is Ray O'Brien from the Mount Washington Valley Green Team. And although he didn't wear green, we're going to let him sit on the couch anyway. So, Ray, how are you this morning? Great. Great to see you. I, I, we don't like green in the winter, but we like to be green. We like to be winter. green, okay. exactly. And that's what's important. Yeah. So yeah. let's do a quick overview of what the Mount Washington Valley Green Team is all about. Well, about five years ago, the Mount Washington Valley Green Team was established uh, as a non profit under the Mount Washington Valley uh, Preservation Association. We're uh, kind of close with the uh, white, uh, with the Mount Washington Valley Chamber of Commerce yep. as well. Some of our members, one of our members is, uh, works, works there. So uh, we, we've been going along and we've been uh, meeting and we have uh, events that we do. If, uh, um, we have a lot of diverse people on the, on the team who act as sort of the board of directors, but uh, we have a lot of people out there doing a lot of things. They don't always come to the meeting. So we, we try to tie that all together. That's what, that's what our goal is going forward, is to do the things we've been doing um, and then try to capitalize on what other people are doing and have them not be so much in silos, everybody doing their own thing. We could make try to make connections. All right, so everybody can kind of learn from each other and share tips and all that such. Uh, Rob, for example, we have we have gardens that we started. We we started uh, one over on Tasker Hill. That was our first one. Uh, there are there are four by twelve plots that individuals can uh, rent, plant their own gardens. Uh, then we got a grant and we started two more. One in uh, Madison, and one in the, right in the village of uh, of uh, Conway. Thanks to Lindsay's Hardware, who d donated the or is offering the land to us. Um, so. What we've done with those gardens, now schools have gardens too. Some schools right. do, some schools don't. Well, the schools that don't can go to these gardens and, and work. But uh, I've, I've heard some of the schools, uh, when it gets to be summertime and there are no students there, they, they have a hard time uh, managing that. We've got some ideas on that. I, I think if we can pull some of those kinds of gardens together, we can uh, you know really make a difference. Yeah, you know, We've been able to donate, uh, for example, in Madison, two of the plots go to the school. The school raises things, they plan it, the third graders have taken charge of it, um, and, and some surplus will go to the uh, food pantry, so for fresh vegetables for, yeah. for the local food pantry. The Conway one, they, uh, they have a, um, the, th the third grade over there, as a matter of fact, Conway Elementary does some work there. So, so the gardens have been a big, uh, big piece of our our efforts, mainly to uh, Colleen Cormack does the one in uh, in uh, Conway, and Jen Andrews is pretty much in charge of the one in, in uh, on Task Hill, and, and I do the one in. Uh, so we all have in, in Madison. So we all have our little individual things, mm -hmm. but then we all come together, and it's like the green team is more for people who like gardening. So we have an, another event that we've been doing annually, uh, thanks to uh, the efforts of. Uh, Claire Long, who's really taken taken this ball and run with it, Funergy. It happened uh, last fall in September. Yep. The year before that, it was um, we had it in August. August was not a great time to do it. For September was a great time. We moved it over to Cranmore. Uh, but we have several events where kids can go. Family, it's a family event. It's free. People who run the little stations, it's free for them to enter. So we try to keep it as low cost as possible. Uh, we have some funds, um, and we found we had to spend some of them on some insurance for that. But then we got a donation from the uh, public service company, so that covered Great. almost covered that. So we're trying to do low cost things, but that can get the word out and circulate things. Uh, so the Funergy event we will continue to to do. Green tips is something uh, Melody. Uh, Nestor at the Chamber of Commerce. She loves loves to write. She has started that. We've got Julie Lenoy now doing some of the articles too. Mm -hmm. She does a great job. So it's a great opportunity for some authors who like to write about uh, energy or sustainability type issues. Um, we also did a little campaign, uh, isolated. It was sort of an experiment, a no idling campaign where we, we got some signs from the Department of Energy uh, uh, DES, mm -hmm. Environmental Service, um, 
temporary signs to put up. We move them around so that people get used to it. We, they did an experiment over at Pine Tree School and they uh, you know, have a no idling program really throughout the schools. Now. Yeah. But, um, so we, we've done some of those things as, as projects of us, but we've also backed up other place, other events like Valley Pride Day, big, big, uh, very big, yeah, that's big event. a great you, event. Maybe you've even interviewed folks here on, on that over the last 10 or 11 years. I think that it's been in effect. What we did was we, on Valley Pride Day, we, we got a little bit involved and we it was run great with us or without us, but we said, gee, you know, what if we recycled some of those things? And it's awful hard to ask people to pick up trash and recycle them. Right. So we, we contacted Waste Management, said, can you bring two, two roll-offs, those big 30-ad roll-offs? And we got a location for that where we we're gonna have the party. We asked people two different colored bags, single stream recycling versus uh, trash. So right. at least we were able to cut, cut it in half Waste management takes that took both of those down to their facility, disposed of one, and, and sifted the rest of it through their plant. Um, so we were able to keep thirty. Well, it was we probably collected forty eyes altogether. We kept half of it out of the land. Yeah, that's so, terrific. That's uh, terrific. I mean, it's uh, you know I I think it's one of the things like you were talking about the green tips, and we've talked about it on the program before. But the different strategies you can do to to go green, and I mean, you talk about the Mount Washington Valley, what a terrific area, and uh, there's just I think a lot of opportunities, both with Valley Pride and just in your own home and in your business, to mm. to go green with lighting or trash or anything like that. Absolutely, and that, and that's what, there's a lot of people out there in, in their own silos doing these great things, and I think the service that if we're trying to do anything for anybody is to just say, look. We're, we're, we're all doing the same thing. Let's, uh, let's in, reinforce each other. So even composting, for example, or uh, how do you actually uh, recycle? I think Julie uh, Lenoy was gonna do a green tips coming up in the future, just about recycling, you, know, you get a vase of flowers, and so now you have the vase. So I know people that got 12 vases sitting around their house, what do you do with those? Well, she was one, had a plan where she would call the florist and see which ones would take them back. And that way we could put that in a green tips and the florist would get their name in there and uh, they, you know, it might generate some business for them, but it keeps some glass out of the, right. out of the land. Now you have your annual meeting coming up tomorrow night. Yes, that's, for, that's an important piece of this. Uh, t tomorrow night, uh, which is January 30th, Monday, Eastern Slope Inn, uh, 5.30 uh, to 7, uh, Flatbreads, pizza for from 5.30 to about just a little bit before 6. We'll pull everybody together at 6 and basically say, this is what we've done. These are some things we'd like to do. Do you see a vision for getting involved? For example, New Hampshire Sustainable Restaurant and Lodging Association will be there, a, a representative from, from there. And um, of course, locally, we've had a couple of people recently, Margarita right. Grill and uh, uh, the local grocer and, and the Appalachian Mountain Club has been recognized by, by that organization. So the person will be there and will, you know, after we say what we're going to do, or we're going to try to pull together our plans by March, and that'll be what we do. We've Great. got a format so that we, we don't meet every single month. We're going to meet on a, on a basis to try to tie these things together and shoot for the annual meeting every year to present to the community. This is what we did. This is how you can get on board and move forward. Right. Well, that just sounds terrific. Now, if people want to get involved with the uh, Mount Washington Valley Green Team, do you have a website? We do, and it's uh, it's MT Washington Valley Green Team. Uh, either that, or if you if you if you have a quick link to the Chamber of Commerce, if you go to their homepage, you go all the way down to the bottom. There's a symbol for Mount Washington Valley. Green there it is, Team. right there. Right there. Okay, great. Um, See how easy that was? Look at that. We can wow. That's great. I think it has some contact information right on there for, for everybody. That would, that, that's great. Well, that's great. Well, Ray, These thanks. These guys so are geniuses out in, the, out in the room here. Oh, I wouldn't use oh, geniuses. Well. Um, well, Ray, thanks so much for coming down. My and uh, good luck with the green team. So tomorrow night, the annual meeting starts at 530, you 530, said. Yeah. Right there at Flatbread. So Have some pizza. Yeah. Have some pizza. Flat Check out, find out what's going on right here in our community with the Mount Washington.